Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Talk to Lashigarami TV. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting all of my Mark 18 Mod 1 footage so far. Just take a quick look up and make sure you hit the button and check out that Hexera Training Day Vlog number 8, guys. I'm going to say it for you one more time again. It should be up there um, on the as a card link or as a button. Make sure you check that out. So going forward, I was able to really develop my Mark 18 and get it to a point where like this thing really runs like a pure monster. And as you can see here, with this gameplay footage that I do have, and I, ha and I have a lot of gameplay footage, trust me. For those of you guys who remembered when I put that post out a while back, I said that I got some Mark 18 Mod 1 gameplay that you guys were going to love. And I really mean that. So yeah, the gun is really awesome. And the way how it just functions, it just functions really well. The thing is, you have to really build it out to the point where you get it to perform the way that you want it to. Um, a lot of guys have mentioned that, you know, getting the CQBR or the, uh, the standard, I think, M4A1 that Marui also makes, um, it wouldn't really make that much of a difference. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I really feel that there's not that much of an internal difference in terms of how you build it out. It's pretty much, it depends on what you decide to do. Initially, the only main difference that you have is the Mark 18 Mod 1 rail, the Daniel Defense rail, and the license, right? Internally, it's almost the exact same thing as the um, the NWS and the, um, or probably not the MTR, but more like the NWS to begin with. But regardless, it's pretty much based on preference. I wanted something with that particular rail, and that's the reason why I went with the Mark 18 Mod 1. I had a plan to get the Mark 18 Mod 1 uh, last year. It took a while, but I was really happy once I was able to get it. So once again, highly recommended. I don't know that much about the other VFC style M4s. Um, I do also have some interest in the BCM at this time, but one of the main things that's keeping me from pulling the trigger, no pun intended, on that purchase is that I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to get much support. And I know that the build would be a little bit more pricey in my opinion than the uh, the Mark 18, seeing as how those magazines are pretty pricey. And if you don't believe me, you can check them out for yourself. So yeah, uh, this gameplay was really fun and you can see me <laughs> Pretty much displaying all of my newfound skills guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the noti bell all that good jazz we got more coming on the way don't forget to keep supporting the channel in the videos and stay tuned thank you guys love you guys so much stay good